This is the 24 volt battery by Lie Time, formerly known as Ampere Times. This is a 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery capable of 2,560 watt hours of energy storage. This battery would work great for a trolling motor, a grow watt inverter, or a 24 volt inverter if you would like to downsize your conductors in order to save cost and reduce heat and reduce resistance on your setup. So is this battery worth your time and money? Well, let's find out. So you initially get the battery, you get a packet with four screws in order to connect your lug terminals, and you also get little caps to go over top of the screw to give you a little bit more protection. Also with the battery, you get a manual here that comes in a nice pouch with a zipper. We get our product manual. This is going to give you information on the product as far as size, discharge, how to connect uh, in parallel or in series if you would like. So handy manual here. That's the first time I've seen this. Uh, we get stickers. So we got a sticker booklet with uh, a bearded guy. So that's kind of cool. Share with us how it's changed your life. And then you get a quick start guide. So it's nice that they include some of this stuff. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this battery. Okay, we have a pretty standard ABS case. We've all seen and love this style of case. The case size is 20 inches by eight inches. And we are eight and a half inches tall or eight and a quarter if you include in the terminals. On the top, we have our epoxy terminals and these are nice and beefy, so you can get some pretty hefty lugs on there. And on the front of the battery, we just have lie time, lithium iron phosphate, 24 volt, 100 amp hour, uh, some cautions that you should read through. And on the back, we just have different applications you can use the battery for. 2,560 watt hours, which we will run a capacity test. And we have a serial number on the top of the battery here. So let's take it over and run a discharge test. Okay, discharge test has started and we are discharging at about 19 amps. So this is just under a 0.2 C discharge rate. This test should take about five hours and I will be back done with the results. And the test is complete and we have 103.412 amp hours. So that is above the 100 amp hour rating of the battery, so this test is a pass. My favorite part of making these videos, let's open it up and see what kind of BMS, let's see what kind of cells, let's see what kind of wiring that they're using inside of this battery. Again, like I say in most of my videos, do not open up these batteries yourself. You could get electrolyte everywhere, you could uh, short out some wires and cause a fire, so do not open these batteries. I am not a professional. Aha, I think I got it. Okay. Whew. Let that glue smell go for a minute. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. On the positive cable, we have a number six silicone wire rated at 200 degrees. And we have a bundle of three 10 gauge silicone wire. Uh, connected here at the terminal lug. Let's, uh, I'm gonna get these off of here and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the lid off. Now let's have a closer look at this BMS. So from what I can see here, we have our heat sink on the top. We have soldered connectors on the P minus and we have soldered connectors on the B minus. Now over here, we have our balance lead cables and on this side here, we have a high temperature sensor. So this battery does not have low temperature protection, but in the manual, it did not state that it had it. So let me see if I can get these cells out of this case and we will see what kind of cells they are. And nothing special inside the case here. There is a bit of neoprene at the bottom here that's got some double-sided adhesive on it. Okay, and here's the battery pack and BMS. So wow, this is actually really nicely put together. Um, we have padding on the front, on the sides, the top, and the bottom in order to cushion these cells from any type of vibration. And on the top, you can see we have this piece of special cut foam that is allowing all these vent covers to be open in case in the highly unlikely event these need to depressurize. 
This is gonna not cover them and allow them to be safely depressurized if they need to vent out any type of gas. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this foam off. Okay, I have enough of the foam off that I can actually see the QR codes. And they're using GFB cells. I'm seeing a lot of manufacturers using these GFB cells. They're high quality. Um, let me get my cell phone out and I will take a picture of these and see if they're within the same manufacturing date. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot. And we have gang fang cells, lithium iron phosphate, 320 watt hours. Uh, where's the date? Okay, so we have uh, October 30th, 2022. Now let's scan another one. Oh, come on, that's a clear shot. There we go. And we have the 30th and the last one that I can get to. And we also have October 30th. So looks like all the cells are manufactured at the same time, October 30th. And on the BMS board, we have SH21F0B663X6.0. And looks like we have a manufacturing date of September 19th. The BMS was manufactured September, and then the cells were manufactured in October. And then the balance leads are all really nicely routed up uh, we have these plastic cell holders in each individual cell. The balance cables to be routed nicely and neatly. Uh, we also have laser welded terminal lugs. We also have our balance lead cables here that's tapped into the buzz bar as well as we have it glued and screwed. So that's nice to see. Um, we have our main positive over here and our main negative on this side here. So I'm pretty impressed by this battery and the build quality. Uh, it's a 24 volt, it's at a decent price. So if you're looking for a 24 volt, I'm gonna recommend this battery. So pretty easy video. Um, I love it when these batteries pass. Uh, if you like this battery, I'll leave links in the description below. Uh, please leave a like before you go. And thank you for watching.